her, she is me, I am T, and I am back with another video! Period. If you are new to my channel, what's poppin'? I am T on our channel. <laughs> Go back to my previous videos if you haven't already. Like and comment on those. Subscribe to my channel, obviously. And turn your post notifications on so you get notified every time I and if you are returning with ah, oh like with ah, you loyal and you better be subscribed because I'm not playing and that's just gonna hurt. <laughs> but it's okay. So guys, this video was requested. Um, I went on my Instagram and asked you guys like what videos y'all would like to see, and it was requested that I talk about cheer. Cheer, 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 cheer. Like a lot of people want me to talk about cheer. So this video is going to be dedicated to cheer and my trans transition from being a rookie to a captain. If you guys don't know, I was selected to be one of four of the captains for our Morgan State cheer team for the 2021 season. And I'm super excited. And I can't wait to go over some things with y'all and how I feel about it, what my goals are, and stuff like that. So, I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get into the video. Alright, so, I'm going to start with, sorry, I'm sitting very comfortable right now, guys. I'm really cold, but So, I've been cheering since I was six. I guess. <laughs> I've cheered Boys and Girls Club. I've cheered All Star. I've cheered High School. And now I'm cheering Collegiate. So I've cheered all levels of cheer possible. So for um, Boys and Girls Club, I've actually cheered for. Who did I cheer for? I cheered for Forestville. And I cheered for Camp Spring, which are both PG teams or whatever. For high school, I've cheered um, for McKinley Technology High School, which is a DC high school. Um, for All Star, I cheered for Capital All Stars, which later turned into CA Stars, which was located in Upper Marlboro, Maryland. And for collegiate, I cheer for Morgan. <laughs> so I'm going to be telling y'all about different things like my tryout experience, um, my thoughts on being captain, that I think I was going to be captain, how I feel about being captain, like how it's changed from being just a rookie on the team. And now two years later, well, three years later, I'm held to a higher standard and my team is now looking at me to lead them to a successful season. Alright, so my tryout experience. So my freshman year, I don't, I'm going to tell y'all what I remember. So, <clears throat> come on the vibes. So, <laughs> I'm in this line and in my head I'm just nervous. Like, I'm like... Oh my God, these girls, they look like they really good. Like, I don't know how to sweat the cow. I'm nervous. And then you have the vets, uh, I guess mingling with each other, like already comfortable. They already know it's T about the team. But me, I'm sitting in line like, all right, like, I'm nervous. And it's not because I'm not confident in myself or my skills, but when it's a collegiate level, you it's girls just as good as you. Because you actually have competition to get on this one team, it's like, oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I'm just gonna get my best. My mindset is just do what I know how to do. At that time, go big or go home. And that's just that. Like, I'm gonna show out. Me, I'm a humbly show out at that. Like, I got this. <laughs> I'm not worried about nothing. I ain't worried about nothing. Period. So Morgan, our tryout is three days. 
Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Well, the first two days you learn material or whatever, and then the third day you perform it and execute for a grade. So the third day, me executing my stuff, no more than four girls in a room at a time, four or five girls, line up, stand in front of the panel, and individually she'll tell you, well, not the cheers and the dances, but individual skills like jumps and tumbling, you'll do one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so, I, me personally, I'm a well-rounded cheerleader. I know how to stunt, tumble, jump, and I know how to dance my butt off. And that's what people fail to realize. Like, Morgan isn't just a comp team. Morgan is also a spirit team. So, that's, that was kind of in my advantage because I was comfortable. Like, one thing that really stands out to me from that tryout was when it was time to go on the basketball floor. Y'all, so you go, you do stuff on blue mat and you do stuff on basketball floor. So when it was time to do stuff on basketball floor, I remember like everybody, you had to do standing tumbling. So everybody was doing one handspring or one tuck. And I'm like, I'm trying to boost my score. My job, remember I said I had experience in high school cheer. This is in my advantage because I tumbled my butt off in high school doing layouts, tucks, whips, all that on the on basketball floor. So it was time for me to go. I'm like, we just do one handspring. She was like, do whatever you can. So me doing, I'm like, back. Woo! Say that. I'm the only one. In that try the whole tryout that did a hand hand tuck, a handspring handspring tuck for tryouts, and I was like, per like, and I did it flawlessly. Like my tumbling is flawless. I'm very confident. I don't need a hard, I don't need a spring mat. I don't need a blue mat. I don't. I don't even need basketball floor. If you if we really being honest, I go outside and do what I need to do when I need to do it. That's just that. <laughs> Humbly speaking, of course. Um, yeah, <laughs> but tryout experience was um, actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. And if you're looking to try out at Morgan, hit me up. I'm always willing to guide you. Um, and just know that it's not hard. Believe in yourself. You know what skills you have. Throw what you have. Do not throw anything that you don't have. Coach Gibby is going to say the exact same thing. Um, and yeah. Be confident. Now I'm going to talk about what I'm talking about. So I have notes because I'm a bad, like, I, I don't remember anything. <laughs> but what practice is like as a rookie? So every year, coach is going to tell you block off 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. for practices. You practice every day from 3 to 5. Um, this year, it's looking like she's leaning more towards 3 to 5 and 4 to 6 because when competition season comes, it's a lot of um, stuff going on with girls not being able to come to practice because we have this class and that class. So she's pushing towards more diversity in the practice schedule. Uh, well, variety in the practice schedule. Um, my practice as a rookie, more specifically. Rookies, you have to roll up and down mats. That's just that. Like, that's just, I came into, I'm pretty sure the vets, before me came into it, like, rookies roll down mats and they roll up mats after practice. It's not that serious. If you don't, the merits can hand it out. And that's money that you don't want to spend. Unnecessary money that you want to spend. You get there, make sure everything's good, make sure the boom back, make sure the boom box is out, make sure the kit is out. We don't do practice without the kit and the boom box. That's um, also a rookie job that you have to do. Um, practice is normal. I, once you're on a team, you're on a team. Like, you practice just like any other chick you do because, once again, you're a team. So it's not like anything special. Um, don't, I, the piece of advice I would give you is don't be in a bag. Like, 
nobody knows it. You're not the only person who don't know the material. Get in the front, ask for help because how are we gonna help you or know that you need help if you do not speak up? Exactly. Okay, on to the more um, captain base topic. So did I want to be captain? I'm not gonna say no and I'm not gonna say yes. Um, I'm really, I'm more of the type of the person, I know how to lead, I lead when I need to lead, but I'm also a part of the team, so I know when to fall back and take authority from somebody else. So if I was put in a position to be captain, I'm all for it. And if not, I'm still, I'm still fine because I love being a part of my team. Also, my coach has also um, had talks with me because she felt like, I didn't speak up enough or I didn't lead enough. And I'm just like, I don't know how, like, I know how to lead, but I have leadership. I don't step on people's toes. If I have leadership in place, I'm going to look to my leadership. I'm not stepping on nobody's toes. I'm not, cause that's their job. I don't want anybody to feel like I'm trying to take their place or she doing too much or this. Cause in Khadija's chair, you mess with grown ladies that have mouths and opinions. And I didn't have time for that. I like to stay in my lane and just do what I love to do. And that's eight counts, dances, cheer. I, I want to cheer, that's it, I don't have time for that. Okay, so how did I find out I was captain? A few weeks after tryouts, we're still waiting and anticipating who made the team, who didn't make the team. And I'm like, okay. At this point, I'm like, all right, so who's the captain? A couple days go by um, from when she announced who's on the team and she sends out an email. This email we get every year. We expect it to come every year and it just, tells you it's a long email about expectations, what to do and what not to do, what to eat, what not to look like as a Morgan cheerleader, like if you're too big or if you're too skint, like this email contains a lot. So I'm reading, I'm reading, I'm reading, I'm reading, and then at the end of the email, it's like blah, 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 blah. Your captains for this year is this and this. Your co-captains for this year is this and this. And I'm like, stop playing. She played too much. I feel like y'all, I'm gonna put a picture in here somewhere. I don't know if it's gonna be right here. But y'all, I'm gonna put a picture of the email with the email said. When I read the email, I was like, Stop playing. I screenshot it. I sent it to my mom. I was like, mama, look. Shout out to my mom and my mom. She's been with me through this experience from freshman year. Like, she supported me. She's been more excited than me at times about being a cheer mom for Morgan. But yes, like, I when I found out, when I seen my name on an email, I was super excited. I told my mom first, then I told my friend. I was like, y'all, read the email read the email and they were excited for me because that's what they wanted because they feel like i'm a good leader. like my intentions are pure and that's like i should be in this position so when i saw my name like, i was just ready to start because i know that from this day on i'm not a regular cheerleader anymore i'm not just a teammate anymore i'm somebody that these other 20 something girls are going to look for me for guidance. So now that I'm in this position, um, we know that there's work to be done. I don't really take my position lightly because at the end of the day, I have a team on my back. And our goal is to win. I think my goal for my team is to first let them make sure they understand that I'm here for you on and off the mat. It's not just about cheer. Life is more than just cheer. If you need me, I'm here for you mentally. I'm here for you emotionally. You can always call me. I'm going to pick up the phone. Like Also, I think that it's important to make sure my girls know that 
your opinion matters. I can't just continue to, well, us as captains can't continue to enforce, 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 and make all girls feel like their opinion doesn't matter. If they feel like their opinion doesn't matter or their suggestions aren't being put into consideration, then they'll start to mind wonder or they won't be as focused or won't be as dedicated to the team as we need them to be. So to get the best results, I feel like it's, it's very important to let the girls know like, hey, what do, you, what do you expect from us as captains? Or what do you expect from the team? Or what do you want to see different in the team? Or what do you want to do this season? Or what material do you want to do? If you have ideas, come to me. Like, I just want them to know that they, they still matter. Their voice still matters, because it does. Without, without them, it's not no us. Without any of us, it's not a team. But yes, everybody, my ultimate goal for this team is just to um, prosper. I just want to see growth within my team. I just want to get to a win. I want new material. I want to see, I want them, the crowd and our fans to just see us grow. A fresh face of the Morgan State Cheer Bears. I don't want the same old, same old anymore. I feel like this team has so much talent and we need to showcase it through hard work, practice, dedication, so we could get the results that we need to get as a team. So, yeah. <laughs> One last thing, um, my transition from being a rookie to now captain is going well. Um, it's kind of strange because um, it's kind of strange because of COVID. So our practices are online. So I can't really give my full potential like I know I can and instruct the way I can because we are online, we're virtual. Um, I'm really hoping that we go back in the spring semester to go back to practice so I can meet my girls, be around them, engage more, and just, yeah, start the process of doing what I need to do before I hit the road. Cause once I'm gone and fought with love, no, in spring 2022, baby, I'm hanging up the chair shoes. See, I'm just done with chair. Even though my coaches want me to go on to NBA or NFL, eh, no. Tiana is retiring from chair after her senior year, so. Yeah. Well, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope it was really interesting to you all. I hope I answered your questions. If not, I'll probably do a Q&A for you guys. Just comment below if it was um, interesting or if I answered the questions that you all had. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Press the big red subscribe button in the corner. Make sure your post notifications are on so you get notified every time I upload and I will see you 